These jackfruit tacos are loaded with flavor and they are completely vegan. They are easy and simple to make and are very fulfilling. They get two thumbs up. Let's make some. I am using fresh jackfruit that I got from the produce department. You can also use frozen jackfruit or canned. I wouldn't really recommend canned, but that's also an option. If you are using fresh jackfruit, it is very sticky. In order to avoid the stickiness, just take a little bit of oil. I use olive oil, rub it on your hands and also rub it on your knife. You want your knife nice and oiled up. After everything is oiled up, we are going to start to harvest the fruit. You're going to start by cutting the core, which is the middle part, out of the jackfruit. And you'll know where the core starts and ends because it's a harder texture. Then you are going to take your knife and you are going to go around the skin. And you want to remove as much skin as possible but keep in mind, you don't want to remove the fruit. So this might take a couple of tries, it's okay. After you cut down with your knife, go in there and try to remove as much as that skin as possible without cutting away too much of the fruit. This is what it should look like. After you've cut away the skin, go ahead, get you a bowl because we are going to start harvesting the fruit. Now, there's going to be this these little stringy pieces. There's also going to be the nice big chunk of jackfruit. And then there's going to be a big seed in the big chunk. As you are harvesting the fruit, make sure to remove all the seeds because we are not going to eat those. After you have removed the core and the skin, Everything else is edible. It's going to take some time. You're going to go through and separate all these little stringy pieces and remember to remove those seeds. This fruit is nice and crisp and it has the texture and flavor of a mango. So just imagine you biting a mango that's not quite ripe. That is the texture and taste of a jackfruit really nice and sweet. It's going to be perfect for these tacos. Let's get into it. We are going to season this jackfruit with salt, pepper, oregano, chili powder, cumin, ancho chili, chopped garlic, the juice of one lime, and a diced onion. I start the onion before adding the jackfruit. I want to release some of the juice from the onions and let them get nice and tender. I am going to add my harvested jackfruit. I'm going to add the chopped garlic and I'm also going to add all those beautiful spices that's going to give this jackfruit so much flavor. After all my spices are mixed in, I am going to take the juice of half of the lime. We're going to use the other half later. I'm going to add half of the lime juice. And I'm also going to add approximately one fourth to one third cup of water. The goal is to let this jackfruit cook nice and slowly so it will have that pulled pork or pulled chicken texture. After you have put your water in, it's time to reduce the heat, cover it, and just let this simmer. While this is simmering, let's get started on our pico de gallo. Hopefully you have rough chopped your veggies by now. This pico de gallo is so simple. I am using a food processor. You can use a blender. We are going to add two Roma tomatoes. We're going to add half of a red onion. You can use any other onion, but the red makes it pretty. Two garlic cloves. Do not forget the garlic is very important. A half of a jalapeno. If you want your spicier, you can add more. And we're going to add some cilantro. I'm only using a little bit of cilantro, but you can use as much as you like. You re remember that lime that we didn't use we're going to use half of the lime that's going to add a nice bright acidity that we need and then we're going to season this we're going to season this with some salt 
We're going to use some fresh black pepper. And we are also going to season this with cumin. Cumin adds that nice smoky flavor that we love when we are making pico or salsa. After you have seasoned this, you are going to put the top on and just blend until you get to the consistency that you like. I like my pico a little chunky. I like it to have nice texture. So I'm just going to pulse this a couple times, take the top off, and it should be absolutely perfect. And you want to make sure that you are tasting your food as well. If you need to adjust your seasonings, go ahead and do it. But if it is perfect to your taste, then you are right on track. Go ahead, put it in a bowl, and let's wait to garnish our tacos. Look at that homemade pico. It doesn't get any better than this. Let's check on this jackfruit. This jackfruit has been simmering on low for about 25 minutes. It's smelling absolutely scrumptious. You want this texture to be super soft. Once it reaches a nice soft texture, you're going to go in with the fork and you are going to pull apart the fruit. This is exactly as if you were doing pulled pork or if you were doing pulled chicken. You want to go in and get the big pieces of jackfruit and just shred them with your fork. You can use two forks as well. I like to use the spoon method. And then it's time to taste. If it's delicious, it's time to plate it up. If not, adjust your seasoning. Mine tastes perfect, so it's time for me to get my tortillas all nice and crisp. I am using flour tortillas. Feel free to use whatever you like. Now it is time to plate this up. I took this off the heat and I just want to mix it up a little bit to make sure all the juices and spices are all incorporated. And here's the fun part. We're going to load these tacos up. This filling is just jackfruit and onions. It should be relatively good for us. And I would not feel guilty stuffing these tacos with this filling. After you've loaded your tacos, it's time to top it with that delicious, fresh, homemade pico de gallo. This is going to add a nice texture and a nice acidity to them. And then we're going to garnish with cilantro because all tacos need a garnish and it's going to make our plate pretty. And there you go. Vegan jackfruit tacos. I cannot wait to dig in. Bon appetit, let's eat.